Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, we are chatting all about a Goldie slash a Goldie. I am not 100% sure what the correct way to say it is. I tried to like see and I feel like everyone says it differently. So I'm going with a Goldie. I'm sure you guys have seen them on Instagram when you're shopping online, whether it's Revolve, Nordstrom, um, Lulu's, wherever they have this brand and it's really, really popular. And I think for good reason, that's kind of why I wanted to make this video. I know that they're a bit of an investment piece. So I think watching videos like this will kind of steer you guys in the right direction on how to spend your money the most wisely for you and just find the right pair for your body type and just for your style. So I personally think these are life-changing jeans. I know that may be dramatic, but I think finding a good pair of jeans is like solid goals. Like you cannot beat the way you feel in a pair of jeans that fit you properly. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to tell you guys all about the pairs that I have right now. I have two pairs of shorts, so we're just gonna start with those to get them out of the way so we can get to the jeans, which I know we're all here for. And this is the first pair. These are the Parker Vintage Denim Cutoff Shorts, and this is in the color Swap Meet. These run for $128, and they are really great denim shorts. They're high-waisted, but I wouldn't say they're like completely high. I would say they're more of a mid-rise, um, but they do fit really nicely, and they're not overly short, which I think is really important. And something to note about these is that they run a little bit big. So I would size down one size. The more you wear a Goldie, you'll get more comfortable with the sizing, but I feel like I'm a different size in every single one of these jeans. Um, for me, I'd probably do like a 29 or a 30 normally, and I did a 29 in these and they fit perfectly. Um, so I would just go maybe a size down or like the smaller size you normally wear um, because they do run a little bit big. And there's just a few little distressed marks on the front and on the back, there's no like large holes. Um, there's a little hole right here, but it's not anything crazy. And they're obviously distressed at the ends. I think this is actually the first piece that I ever got from a Goldie now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I thought it was the jeans, but I think it was this actually in the summertime. But I really like these because they're not complete booty shorts like I mentioned. They don't stretch out, which is extremely important when it comes to denim shorts. Um, well, just denim in general, I hate when things stretch out. It makes me feel so frumpy and they just look baggy and not as cute as when you start at the day. Um, so that's really important to me and they hit all the marks on that. If you guys have any additional questions about these that I didn't hit, please let me know in the comments. Next pair of shorts, we have the Rumi shorts. I love these. These are actually a newer piece for me. I just got them this fall. Um, they're kind of like a boyfriend style Bermuda short. They don't have any distressing on them, which I think is good to do every once in a while. You'll see I have a mix of both in my collection, but I love just like a not distressed moment every once in a while because I have so many jeans with rips on them and it's just nice to kind of have something sleek. Um, they're obviously that same cutoff style where there's distressing on the ends um, and they fit really nicely. They're super comfortable. All of a Goldie's jeans are like nice real denim material, but they do have like a teensy little bit of stretch, which I think is good um, because some like vintage jeans, they have absolutely no stretch in them. and There's just no gift. Um, certain pairs of the Goldie have a tad bit of stretch and I would say these are more of a relaxed kind of fit um, where they're not super stiff um, they're really comfortable and they fit really nice um, something also to note about a Goldie is that all of the flies are button flies so the price for this pair is $128 as well I think that's a pretty standard price for the shorts and this is the color renewal or the wash renewal um, again a nice light wash I do have some darker washes over here but I really love the light wash that they do. Um, it's just kind of my preference. I switch it up every once in a while, but um, I do really love it. So same as the Parker shorts, I have these in a 29. I would say these run a tad bit big as well. I would probably size down one size. So those are the shorts that I have. Again, if you guys have any questions about those two things, um, anything I didn't cover, please let me know. But moving on to our jeans. Okay, next up we have a style that's the original pair that just stole my heart. Nico high rise jeans. This is the shade light blue. They do have a black that I have back there and also a light wash that's slightly different than this one And the light wash doesn't have any distressing on them um, This one has a little rip on the knee right here and the back just has a few little distress marks on the pockets and they do have some distressing on the ankle as well as this little slit right here that I think is really cool. So this is the pair that started it all and these ones do run really big. I actually got these in a 28. So I kind of sized down 
two sizes and I don't know if you necessarily need to go down two sizes for me I'm kind of in between a 28 and a 30 I don't know about you guys but for my sizing it's so difficult for jeans I'm like either a 28 29 or a 30 like 30 if the jeans run really small and I do have a 30 here which is just crazy um, but I would say 28 is like my smallest size for the most part and that's what I had to get in these because they run pretty big and this style looks really good a little bit more fitted because they just look so good on the booty and they're just everything so this was a style that stole my heart because they fit so well and I I just I really wore the heck out of these when I first got them like this was the only pair of jeans that I wore because I just felt like they looked so cute with everything and they do have a slight crop on them but it's not over dramatic at all I'm 5'7 and they're not overly short on me they're just like slightly cropped to my ankle and they are like actually a really nice material they're not overly stiff and thick jeans so I think that's kind of the trick when it comes to trying to perfect that girlfriend boyfriend style without looking from be it can't be too thick of a material um, because that's when it starts to look lumpy and like you know just not cute um, these are a little bit thinner and stretchier but they still have that vintage vibe which I think is key and I did forget to say the price tag on these is 168 so 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 cute and I personally think worth every penny I don't think I bought like one new pair of jeans last year after I got those or maybe like two years ago whenever I got them because I was just like so content I think the only pair that I bought was the same pair in black which I'm going to show you next same style as the last pair but these are in the black obviously and as you can see they're more of like a vintage style black a little bit more of a washed denim not like a true dark black which I prefer my jeans to look like this I think they look a little bit more stylish stylish a little bit more worn out maybe like you found them at a thrift store a little bit just more vintagey which I just think is way cuter um, I personally feel like the true black jeans that you buy like the really thin material I used to love the top shop jeans but I feel like they started to get so washed out so quick and they just start to look so dingy I love these so much I had to get that same pair of jeans in black because I was wearing the heck out of them and these are a little bit different so it's the Nico style but they don't have any distressing on them like the last pair no rips on the legs no distressing on the back pockets and even the hems are not frayed or distressed at all and they don't have the slit right there so but these are still super high-waisted fit amazing and they're a little bit cropped at the ankle same price as the last pair and the same size as the last pair because they are the same just a few slight differences in them but I just absolutely love them if you guys have any questions about the Nico high-rise jeans please let me know in the comments if I didn't answer them wait I just saw that a Goldie has a Jamie jean why do I not have that? What? Okay, that's next on my list. <laughs> okay, next pair we have the Riley High Rise Cropped Jeans. These are so great, but right off the bat, I gotta warn you guys, these ones run small for whatever reason. I don't know what it was. Something about these I was like, I don't think I'm gonna fit in a 28. I'm gonna get a 29, and then even the 29 was too small on me. Once I got the new pair, wow, I am just, these are amazing jeans. So they have a little bit more of like a cropped flare style. They're not a skinny jean. I'm not really super into skinny jeans anymore but you can see they're a little bit more of a straight leg but they do crop at the ankle and kind of flare out like a little bit more of a not a boot cut but that kind of style you guys will see in the try on but they fit so great it's that same like kind of relaxed denim material that's really stretchy and so comfortable like you don't feel like you're suffocating when you're sitting down in the jeans um you guys know what i'm talking about with some denim it's just like it might fit but once you sit down you like cannot breathe um and these are just so comfortable and so great look so good on the butt i feel like that's my number one pro for all of these jeans they make your butt look so good and i think we all want that right so and the color that i have in these is the light blue and these are the more distressed version i know they have a pair that doesn't have any distressing on them but these have a few rips and some distressing none on the ankle really just a tad bit but um, for the most part it's just on the legs and the back yeah none on the back so this is the light blue shade and these run for $188 things to note they run a little bit small they're really stretchy they're really cute and I love them so <laughs> That's all that we have in the notes. Nothing bad to say about those, I love them. Okay, next up we have a pair um, that's different from the last few that I showed you guys. These are the 
90s pinch waist medium wash denim high rise straight jeans <laughs> so these are more of a straight leg again super high waisted which we love these are almost like a baggier style i would say not a baggy fit but the legs are a little bit looser and that straight leg style they're not cropped they have hardly any distressing on them there's no rips just the ends are a little bit distressed but barely um, but there's no rips on them on the front or on the back the you can see the pockets are just plain and they are really cute i feel like they, these really remind me of something you would find maybe at a thrift store but i think like even better quality because they're just like oh they're just made like for the more modern fit that we go for um and i absolutely love these so much so i've already worn these like actually a really decent amount of times because I really like them. This is more like the style that I go for these days, like this straight leg vibe, um, and they're great. So they're not cropped at all, in case you guys are wondering. I know I've shared a few cropped pairs, um, but these are not cropped by any means. I think they'd be great if you're a little bit taller. This wash is their medium wash, so it's a little bit darker than the other pairs that I've shared, um, and I do really like it. It was a nice switch up for fall because I have so many light wash jeans. Um, these were a welcome change, and I got these in the size 20. 29 so these are more their like standard fit I would say and I just really really love these because they have that like more baggy style that I like the straight leg but still like really fitted up top and on the booty so you don't lose your shape or look like square or frumpy um, they are just really really cute and I just am obsessed with them so this is more of their I would say thicker stiffer style denim not as stretchy as the Riley or the Nico um, so just be warned about that but they're really really great I definitely recommend they feel like a really really nice expensive pair of jeans um, feel very vintage and just like they're gonna last forever which I love just super durable and I am obsessed with these so these are a great change from the last few pairs that I shared if you guys are more of that like you know baggy style you don't really wear super fitted jeans these are a great in between and I absolutely love them and the price on these is 188 and for our last pair I have the 90s mid-rise light wash loose fit distressed jeans I know we were just talking about more baggy fitted jeans if that's your style you will completely love these these are more of a total baggy fit like the 90s vibe like it said um, and these are a little bit distressed they have some ripping and some distressing on the front they're really comfortable because they're that baggy style so it's just like really easy to move around in and really comfortable to wear um, and I got these in a size oh shoot where's the size at and these are also very high-waisted, which we love. I absolutely love them. They are so cool and so cute. I feel like these look so good with sneakers or like street style things, but also really cool with like a chunky boot or like a high heel. I feel like you definitely could wear these out with like a strappy sandal and it's like a really cool, sexy style. And it just contrasts with the baggy jeans so well. Um, or you could just go full-blown street style and wear sneakers like I've done plenty of times. But this is just like the total vibe right now. Um, this is the style we're in very 90s streetwear and I absolutely love them so these there is one thing different about them um, that I didn't do with any of the other pairs I actually got these taken in at the waist because for me I don't know what it was I felt like they were just a bit baggy at the waist for my personal preference I think it was just the overall style it's supposed to be more of a baggy relaxed fit I probably should have sized down one size um, but I had already worn them a few times and I kind of just realized like oh they're a little bit a little bit baggy so I just got them taken in at the waist because I really loved the way they fit everywhere else I didn't want anything else to size down I just needed the waist um, to size down a little bit so I I took them to the alterations place in my dry cleaner and they just took them in back here and just kind of tightened up the waist just a tad bit and it made such a difference so so I would definitely suggest taking jeans in if you guys ever need to because you can customize them to fit you perfectly obviously everybody's body is different and everything fits everybody different so I just wanted to be honest with you guys and let you know that I had these altered um, but otherwise they are amazing and great jeans I love them so much um, and I would get that standard a goldie size I got a 29 like most of my jeans here so just size down one size and you should be good um, maybe size down too if you don't want them to be overly baggy like I mentioned um, but I I really liked everything else it was just the waist like I said so these run for 198 so actually the priciest pair out of all of the jeans here and I think because it is just the most material they're really great I love them so much they fit so nice so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful again if you have any questions for me please don't be shy ask them below I'm always free to answer them for you guys well I will try to give you the best advice that I can um, and I will link each pair 
pair of these below with my sizing as well. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did and just comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Even if you don't have any questions, I would love to hear from you guys. You don't know how much comments help me out to hear from you and engage with you guys. It just really means a lot when you take the time to comment and give me a thumbs up. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Bye.